I'm gonna tell you five skill sets that every YouTuber needs, including you. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the five skills that you need. I'm gonna tell you why you need those skills. And then I'm gonna tell you the channels that you need to go watch in order to gain those skills. Because you know, I like to give you the good stuff, give you some takeaways, some stuff that you can actually use and apply to what it is that you're doing right now. So what I want you to do, if you really wanna improve what's going on in your channel and you really want to make the most of what's going on this year with your YouTube channel every single day if you have time watch at least one video on the channels that I'm getting ready to mention the very first skill that you need if you're gonna be on camera if you're going to be doing voiceovers if you're gonna be playing games or anything like that the very first skill that you need is the skill of presentation you have to be able to present yourself in a way that's engaging because here's the deal if you are not engaging then people are not going to enjoy your content and I'm not saying that you have to be over the the top. All I'm saying is that you have to have some type of camera presence to where when people watch your videos, they feel like they're entertained in some way. A fantastic channel that you should watch a lot to help you develop camera presence and just overall better communication skills is Charisma On Command. They teach you how to be charismatic. They teach you how to be engaging so that when you speak, people listen. And on YouTube, that's what you want. When you are putting out videos and you're putting in all of this effort into making content, you want people to watch your stuff and say, yeah, yeah, I, I want to listen to this person. I want to watch this person. I want to hear what this person has to say. I want to watch their videos because the way that they do it. Learning how to present your content in the best possible way, regardless of the type of content that you make, just by itself can make a huge difference in how people are responding to your channel. Next one on the list, you are a YouTuber, which is synonymous with a video editor. So because of that, you need to learn how to properly edit your YouTube videos. Just doing simple cuts is relatively easy, but when you start getting into like the pacing of the videos and trying to make videos feel a certain way or come across a certain way, it can get pretty interesting actually. And then you add in all the different types of cuts and techniques and all the color grading and all that stuff and it can get really, really complicated really, really fast. So a few resources that I have for you for this one, of course, Vigard, who is the person that is editing this video. I also have some videos on editing. I'll put one of them at the top of the screen right now so you can just pop it open in a new window and watch that one when this video is finished. If you are a user of Adobe Premiere, Premiere Gal is also fantastic. If you edit your videos in Vegas, check out just Alex Halford. He has awesome tutorials and he uploads pretty much all the time. The next skill that is very important for YouTubers to learn is design. And you don't have to learn all the complicated stuff, but the very base level fundamental elements of graphic design can be hugely beneficial for you. Not only is it gonna help you make your stuff look better and help people respond to it and look at your channel and think, oh, hey, this looks like a professional channel. Learning the basics of design can even help you with other things. For example, when you go to put your set together and you're deciding what colors to use, or you're putting your branding together and you're deciding what colors to use, when you learn about color theory, then you're gonna be more educated, make better choices when it comes to those sorts of things. This also helps you when it comes to making graphics for your videos, making thumbnails, making channel art, making any type of promotional material for your YouTube channel or anything else that you're doing. Learning just the fundamentals can really be advantageous for you. The YouTube channel GCF Learn Free is an amazing resource for learning about graphic design and really just a bunch of other stuff. There's a great educational resource if you're trying to develop skills. But they have some amazing videos for people that are just starting out and they explain things in such a great way to really help you get an idea of how all of the stuff works in the world of design. The next skill is reading stats because look, your analytics are telling you what it is that you are doing right and what it is that you're doing wrong on your YouTube channel. For every person that reaches out to me on social media and says, hey Nick, tell me what I'm doing wrong. I typically reply with go through the YouTube Creator Academy or I reply with send me a screenshot of this, this, and this. And then after they send the screenshot, then I'll say, well, clearly that is your problem right there. And then they'll say, okay, thanks. And then that's that. But if you learn how to read the stats yourself and learn how to look at everything in your stats and your analytics and say, huh, this is working, this isn't working. Hey, people really like that. People don't like this at all. These are the things that I need to change. It will be a game changer for your YouTube channel. 
Sean Cannell over at Think Media TV has a fantastic video that will show you the ins and outs of reading the new analytics that's rolling out. The Creator Insider channel, which you should follow if you're not following anyway since you're a content creator, but the Creator Insiders channel, they also have another fantastic video that shows you how to actually read the stats. I have a video coming on that as well, but unfortunately it's just not here yet, so make sure that you subscribe if you haven't yet so that you don't miss that video. Search Engine Optimization, or SEO for YouTube, is also extremely important to learn. If you're not familiar with the term, basically what it is is when you go to YouTube and you're typing in something that you want to learn how to do, the results that come up on the page after you hit that search button, those typically show up there because they are optimized for search. The really cool thing about that is you can also tap into the power of YouTube search by learning how to optimize your videos for search and that's called SEO or search engine optimization. It can also help you rank your videos in Google, which is another bonus, but I make videos about this, Brian G. Johnson makes videos about this, Roberto Blake makes videos about this, Tim Schmoyer at Video Creators makes videos about this, Video Influencers makes videos about this, Morning Fame, TubeBuddy, pretty much everybody that is in this space makes videos about how to rank your videos in search because it's one of the pillars, so to speak, of traffic for YouTube. Which means that it's really important that you learn at least the basics of how to optimize your videos for search so that you can tap into YouTube search as well so you can get more views on your videos. Now this next one is a bonus. If you are full-time or if you're wanting to go full-time on YouTube, this one here is something that every person that's wanting to go full-time needs to do. You have to develop some business skills because as your channel grows and as your influence grows and as you start generating income from what it is that you're doing on YouTube, because that's what it is required in order for you to go full time. Once you start generating income, you're gonna have to negotiate brand deals. So learning how to negotiate, for example, would be one business skill that you need. On the business skill side, money management is also important because look, all of this gear, it's awesome and it gets extremely tempting to go out and get a bunch of cameras all the time and things like that because you know it's just cool stuff. You're video creator, so having all the cool tech is awesome, but you know, in terms of your business, if your business can support that or not is you know something that you would have to decide on, but you use your business skills in order to make those decisions. Networking is another business skill that is extremely important to learn because when you go to events, you're gonna end up networking. If you are trying to collaborate with other content creators, that's networking. So learning how to properly do that is also a very valuable skill to have. For this one, Evan Carmichael is an amazing resource for this. Just for entrepreneurs in general, you should be watching Evan Carmichael's content because he's just amazing. Roberto Blake is also a fantastic resource for this. And the cool thing about Roberto's content is he is specifically focused on creative entrepreneurs, which is you, which makes his channel even that much more valuable for you. So you definitely need to watch him as well. And also the YouTube creators channel. They have tons of stuff on there, even though some of it's a little bit vague, they still have a lot of stuff on there that will help you get started with understanding the business side of YouTube. So if you were just starting out on YouTube, I've got an entire playlist that I want you to check out right up here. This is kind of where you should start if you are getting started and you're trying to get that momentum going on YouTube. Start in this playlist right up here. This is going to teach you just the basics of things that you need to do in order to get going on YouTube. So you can go ahead and click that right now. And if you want to learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.